knocked away. Here's Tate Rusk back the other direction. Rusk has got Frischman and Berkeley Scott with him. Rusk skates in across the line, the right side to Berkeley Scott. There's the one to the backhand shot the goal! What work by the chill as Frischman hits the backhand and beats Farragher. It's one to nothing. Cooley region chill with 15-22 to play in the first. Here comes Jimmy Hughes. He'll work it again as he tries to shovel it to the slot. There's Miller, a shot through the screen. He scores! Tommy Miller makes it 2 nothing. He's always the opportunist. Tommy saw the loose puck in the slot, and there was no way Farragher could see the shot. It was sent in on a screen, and it's 2 nothing. chill. Now Doherty crossed the line, tees it up. And a nice save by Moby. Then the puck bounces up, almost hits the scoreboard, and here comes forward. Look at that backhand shot by Fritz, and he scores! All alone in front of the net. What nifty hands. If you have any question about Frischman's hands, there's no more question. What a move. Top shelf over Farragher, the big goalie. And it's now 3-2, to two, Cooley region. Frisch is second of the game, 29th of the season. Frischman chases for it. Frischman then scoops it behind the net, tries to hit Nicky Knox. Berkeley Scott as well. For Jelly gets there first. And sent back to the high slot. Quick shot by Rust. Save Farragher. He scrambles and goes in. Oh, my. It's 4-2. to two. Cooley region chill. Set up by Tate Rust. And then sent in from the far side of the net. And under Farragher. In the net. It's 4-2. to two. And there's Frischman. He's going to steal it away. Frischman in across the line. He cuts towards the net. Goes down. And doesn't quite get it on net. It went just wide to the far side. What an effort by Frischman as they coughed up the puck at the blue line. Frischman saw it and almost took it coast to coast. And went down, but it's a penalty on the Bobcats. Things even up now, four skaters aside. And a stick came flying out of the bench. Now Lane Sinevi, he's going to start stripping. He throws his jacket off. We just saw it just recently. Oh, he's throwing something else. Let's see what else is he going to throw. Oh, he's throwing sticks out on the ice now. Sinevi is throwing every stick he can find. He's thrown a clipboard, his jacket. He didn't throw in all his shirt and tie yet, though. We saw the strip job, and I think the coach was suspended for the rest of the year. Maybe sticks and clipboards and your jacket are not enough to get suspended. Nonetheless, there's quite an exhibition by the head coach of the Bismarck Bobcats. She'll win the draw. Pitsy, the Blomquist, back to Pitsy, down low. Quick shot to the doorstep. What a save by Berger. And the rebound piped in. Blomquist sends it through. And it's 5-2. to two. The Chill are going to bring the brooms out here at VFW Sports Center as they have now taken a 5-2 to two lead on the extra man advantage. The Chill are on the power play. They have a man advantage. It's a four-on-three situation for those of you on ESPN Radio. Here's Tate Rust in the zone. Far circle, he shoots and scores his first of the season. Tate Rust, what a night. He just completely beat Farragher from the far circle. He buried the biscuit, and it's six to two. This Friday and Saturday night at 7 o'clock, the two top teams in the NHL Central Division are on a collision course for the fast track to first as the chill go to Owatonna to derail the express. We'll need more Zach attack. Rust skates in across the line, right side to Berkeley Scott. There's the one to the back. Here's shot the goal! What work by the chill as freshman hits the backhand. Chill versus Express. Friday and Saturday night, Miller Lite pregame at 6.30. The Cooley Region Chill. Skate on lacrosse's ESPN Radio. 